Hello and welcome everybody to They Don't Make Them Like They Used To, Paulson Edition. So today we're going to compare some more modern chips with some chips dating back a few years. We're only going to go back probably 30 years. Beyond that we're, is beyond the scope of this video. So let's dive into it. You can see we have a very modern expectation of what you're going to find in a casino chip. This is a top hat and cane mold, more specifically the short hat and cane mold, so they call it the SCV, represented by this very iconic image of the top hat and cane. So we have four edge spots, we have a faux shaped inlay, that's important. So it looks like it's a hexagon right here, but actually you can see it's clearly a round inlay just with a hexagon printed on it, all right? And that's what they chose to do. And the top hat and cane mold is also characterized by this little groove that runs all the way around the outside with some extra material past that. Now, it's also very common for modern chips and casino preference to go with the reverse hat and cane, the RHC mold. And you can see there is no line. The hats come right up against the edge and there's a little lip right there that can chip off your chip. Chip and chips. Same with the five right here, you can see clearly RHC mold. All right, and again, back to the faux shaped inlays, okay? Not true shaped inlays. So let's turn back the clock, all right? They don't make them like they used to. What's the, should we move to the mid 90s? Let's move to the mid 90s. President Casino on the Admiral, a Missouri based steamboat style casino. Really cool chip here. Now, if you look here, You'll notice that the inlay and the parent material is textured here, but this is a true shaped inlay with the same mold that we saw on the Jack 1, okay? So it's an SCV um, THC, so top hat and cane, short cane version. Short cane variation, I'm actually not sure what SCV stands for, but it's obviously the short cane mold right here with a true shaped inlay. And then we have the double quarter inch edge spots, pretty standard. A lot of people kind of consider this the standard that all other standards should be measured against. So we have mid nineties right here, 1994. So 2016, you roll back the clock 20 years, roughly to 1994, you get this. Did I say those numbers right? 2016, 1994. And if we want to go back a little further, if we go back like five years, we get the 1989 Mirage chip house mold. We're just pulling this in mostly for materials. And then even further back, we have a Holiday Casino SCV lovely top hat and cane mold from 1985. Straight back to the future, 1985 Holiday Casino. All right, so let's talk about what we have here. Obviously, you know, casinos are choosing different varieties. They're choosing the RHC more probably to save money, probably because of those oversized, you know, advertisements that they put on here, whatever it may be. It seems like that we see a lot of RHC chips these days. Again, is that a change in materials or anything going on at Paulson? No, that's just more of what the casinos are ordering and maybe represents the state of the casino industry. So let's weigh these chips and explore materials. Now, quick history. In the early 2000s, Paulson was kind of called out for using lead in their proprietary secret mixture for their chips. And so Paulson has, had come out with an announcement saying that they're gonna reduce the amount of lead. And I wanna see if that shows up here across you know these 30 years from 1985 to 2016. So let's fire this up. Loading. Loading, loading. All right, and we're gonna weigh them and see if there's a difference here. We're just gonna go from the newest, and I've actually weighed these 25s before, and they come out at around eight grams. Yeah, so here's a 7.9. Let's just do another one just so we can, yeah, eight point, oh, just, all right, dead on, eight grams. Okay, so moving on to the other RHC, Jack $5. See, now there's a difference, almost nine and a half. Well, that's interesting. So there's a difference between these materials. So the question begs the question, just looking at reality here, 
does this contain more lead than this or do they use a different product? We don't know, it's a proprietary blend, no idea. So now let's weigh the THC mold, Top Hat and Cane. Let's see how that looks. Oh wow, again, half a gram heavier. So it goes all the way from eight to nine and a half to 10, okay? So this is kind of the standard that we're gonna compare it against here as this is a THC mold, all right? So we have 10. Now let's turn back the clock 20 years. If there's a difference in materials, you would expect there to be a difference in weight and it's very close, very close. Wow. Maybe half a gram even heavier still. See, that's 10 and this is like 10.4, is that what we got? Yeah, all right, so there is a difference there. It's small, but there is one there. Let's turn back the clock even further, 89. This is a house mold, it's not a fair comparison. I know, maybe you could say that's heavier still. I would say that's pretty close. And then 85. And remember, there's material worn off of this. This isn't that scientific. It's just to get a general feel for the materials here. Back down to 10.2, the oldest chip here, 10.1. So looking at this objectively, is there a difference in the formula, the secret formula to the Krabby Patty? Maybe a little bit. You know, you see it most and maybe it's these day glow colors. I'm not really sure, but there, it, even like this one was pretty heavy. And so a casino chip, when people say casino weight, is that eight grams, nine and a half grams, 10 grams, 10.5, 10.2, 10.1? It's really what's going on here. So when I say casino weight, sometimes it <laughs> can be kind of a general term. And you know, what's funny is like ceramics, which are completely different material, also have a very similar weight. So it's interesting. I don't have an answer as to what materials they're using, but were things heavier in the olden days? Based on this, this chip is almost is practically as heavy as this one, which is barely lighter than these two. So wh where do we stand on that? Arguing that some of this material is missing from wear and tear, how much of a difference is that gonna make? One tenth of a gram, maybe two tenths of a gram? So you can see how were things better in the olden days? I just am not seeing much of a difference here. So it's my opinion that the Top Hat and Cane molds, the, the people, it can be too pedantic, the SCV, THC, however you want to call it, mold, and the material is very similar. And really what it's coming down to is preferences, like are casinos using shaped molds or what kind of edge spots are they using to you know save costs or anything, you know? So what's better? Was it better in the olden days? Like in this case, I don't see an obvious answer. I'm just looking at these objectively and they seem very similar. So at the making of this video, it's my opinion that in the last 30 years, I don't see a huge change in the THC molds. The reverse hat and cane molds and some other materials, I need further research is needed. We need to dig into that a little bit deeper. Maybe we will at a future date. But I was surprised to find that these were so similar. The top hat and cane molds across the board were so similar. So we need to play a hand as usual. If you're at home, grab your deck, shuffle up. I'm gonna weave shuffle here. Small blind, big blind. I never do real estate betting cycles. It's like, what's that? So that's, and then somebody raises, what's the min raise here, 20 bucks? Yeah, raise. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna raise on, raise, yeah, all right, fine. Well, it's just whatever that is. Just big pile of chips right there, all right. So these are some Copag cards. Let me shuffle here. If you're at home, like I said, grab your deck, shuffle up and deal yourself two cards. Let us know what you had in the comments below. Just gonna quickly shuffle these here and see how we do. I have for a long time and for a lot of videos run very poorly. All right, do I have a cut card? I do not. All right, well, hope nobody's cheating and looking at the bottom of the bottom card here. All right, we're gonna deal actually to a playing partner who I'm gonna call Jane Doe and myself. And of course you always look at your cards. And then there's no betting cycles. We're just playing here on YouTube. So getting in bad habits, because I'm just gonna flop turn, 
and river this bad boy. I can tell you right now, I beat Jane Doe. There is no way on earth she can beat a Jack. Because she has the queen. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, I don't know. I swore. I, there was no way she was. Ladies and gentlemen, just in the comments below, just F. Just hashtag you're a loser. Run bad. Hashtag run bad. It's just not. It's just not healthy. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about were Paulsons better in the olden days? Were they better? I mean, do you think the, there's a difference in the material? Do you think it matters? I don't know. what. To, I mean, I like the older chips. I think they're way cool. Like this holiday casino chip. I love that chip. A special thanks to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support, whether you're listed here or not. I always give patrons the option to have their name listed. And I would encourage everybody to visit my Amazon shop. I have a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. All you have to do is click that link and buy something on Amazon. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.